Breaking news this evening. The President of the United States gets those third stimulus checks out the door. They're finally landing. And of all the big details about that $1,400 third stimulus check that landed today. $1,400 third stimulus checks landed across the country and of all the details in tonight's major recording. Meantime, what's going on with the big exciting news of the jobs and the tech rally? Fang stocks were up today and what does that mean for you? I'll have all the details across the board. Meantime, also big news, forced stimulus, reoccurring stimulus checks. Forced stimulus or the infrastructure bill. When would that forced stimulus check go out and would it involve reoccurring stimulus checks? I'll have all those monthly stimulus check details for you in a big recording tonight. Also new video from the White House and also the estimates across the board, what's going on if you're missing a mail check today or when it will be landing. Also, what to do if you have a missing check. Then I'll be cutting to those new statements by Jamie Dimon, head of uh, JP Morgan. And what went on with the FANG stocks tonight? Big news across the board with videos from the White House, from the President, and from the President on location. It's a big night of evenings LA, and let's get to it with the fourth stimulus, multiple stimulus checks heating up, and your third stimulus check landing in the bank account. This is Evenings LA. Welcome back. It's a big night of evenings, L8, and I'm so excited for you as finally those fourth stimulus checks are getting a major push and third stimulus checks landing in your bank account. How are you? It's a great night. Congratulations. You got that $1,400 third stimulus check. I'm so glad for you. You stayed positive. You stayed focused. You remained on point. You stayed with this channel and together as a family, you got it. But if you didn't get it, don't worry, because later in this recording, I'll explain to you how you can get it as well. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. This is the channel that guided you through the entire process from late December all the way to the minute it landed in your bank account. I didn't abandon you. I didn't run for the hills and tell you about Bitcoin and what to do with some Tesla shares. I stayed with you and made sure you get it. And some people were a little bit concerned it wasn't going to come. And it finally did. So I really appreciate the love and the support as a family. And away we go into four stimulus checks coming up in this video. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat and the pinned comment. Wow. Those $1,400 third stimulus checks landed today by direct deposit. April 7th. Today was the big effective day and I told you it was going to land. Millions of Americans got that stimulus check today and some got it even with no prior warning on the IRS tool. They didn't see it coming. They had no pending alerts. Their big banks chase gave them no pending prior alerts and it just showed up. Congratulations to those countless viewers that saw that stimulus check finally land. It took an act of faith for some, but it finally did land. Those checks have been landed. Now, this is what you need to know. The $14 third stimulus check has still uh, some questions at issue. One is the mail checks. Two, people actually got extra checks. Yes, surprise, surprise. And then those missing individuals, meaning a member of the household didn't get a stimulus check. Let me go over all those details first. Let me cut to the mail checks. The mail checks, some of them are delayed. I would add 10 days to the mail check date. So March 26, the mail checks are late. Add 10 days to that and still keep on watching. April 2nd to April 5th mail check dates, add 10 days to those. And the April 7th mail checks, well, they're actually April 9th. So you want to add nine, 10 days to April 9th. Those are coming. Give some time. They're in the mail. Meantime, Americans are still wondering, what if they did not get a deposit today? What do you do about that third stimulus check? Number one, wait. It's too early to fret. Deposits can appear tomorrow as well, direct deposits. 
That is the first thing to consider, waiting. Second, check the mail. 50% of viewers will get the check in the mail. Even if you had expected direct deposit, that's just the way the Treasury does it. If you're on Direct Express by Comerca, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, if you're a veteran, some checks just come in the mail. There is no organization as to who gets mail checks. They just sometimes come that way. And finally, request the check after guidance from IRS. IRS has already given guidance how to request missing stimulus checks for the first and second round. We're waiting for guidance about the third. Presumably, it's the same way. Let me explain. And this includes if you're missing an individual in the household. If you're missing a first or a second stimulus check from last year, IRS has advised you to file an amended tax return or file a tax return if you have not and request that missing stimulus check. Every American has the right to file a tax return. Even if you're not obligated to file a tax return, you can still voluntarily file one. People on SSI and SSDI who are missing stimulus checks for children should do that for that first and second. But if you're missing a check for yourself or you have other things that need to be done about opting an IRS, wait a little bit of time. Extra check. Well, what if you got an extra check? Believe it or not, I had nearly a half a dozen viewers send me messages today that said they got two, they got an extra stimulus check. What do they do? Wait for IRS for that advisory. That's coming up. Meantime, the big exciting news, of course, now is for stimulus. That exciting, right, great news hit and continues to hit across the board. What do we need to know and where is it landing? What you need to know is fourth stimulus is the infrastructure bill. Fourth stimulus is the infrastructure bill. And Chuck Schumer on Monday night won a major, major ruling that allows him to do reconciliation processes for a long time. That major ruling came out of nowhere and it surprised everyone, including the viewers of this channel. Let's go over this data. Viewers asked me on social media on Twitter last night. They said, LA, how many stimulus checks can he do? Well, he can literally do stimulus checks every, every reconciliation process if the Democrats want to do it. Remember, Republicans don't want to give you a single stimulus check. They don't even want to give you one dollar of a stimulus check. When it comes to Democrats, so far, 21 of 50 want to give you reoccurring monthly stimulus checks. This is huge. This is a lot more than $1,400. More about those numbers in a second. But viewers have been asking Elliot, how many months could he be doing stimulus checks? He could be literally doing them into next year. Let me explain why. The third stimulus check you just received today was the result of a reconciliation process, but it was not a recon from this year. How does this work? Every Senate session, you have one recon. There's a Senate session in the spring and a Senate session in the fall. So you have two per year, one in the spring and one in the fall. Guess what? The one they used in, in January was not from January. It was a leftover from last year. It was an unused leftover they were waiting to use when the president came in because they knew they were going to need an extra recon. So they didn't use it under Trump. And so that was third stimulus, a 2020 recon. Now the, the, pre, the Chuck Schumer and the president knew going into the new year, they would have a new one now and a new one in the fall. But out of nowhere, Chuck Schumer won this enormous ruling, which is line two of this graphic, amend, that Chuck Schumer can go back and amend the prior third stimulus with now a fourth stimulus. To which viewers started asking me, LA, can he keep on doing amendments after amendments? He can. It's unlikely that he would get support of all Democrats to continually amend. But the fact that you get at least one amendment is enough. Moreover, I don't think as a time frame you want to keep on amending because here's the issue. Now, ultimately, the spring 2021, you don't have to use. Again, you could save it for the fall. But you want to get these, you want to get these items out the door as quickly as possible. So let's go to that to-do list. The to-do list, wow, it keeps on growing. MSC, multiple stimulus checks, FPUC retro. Viewers ask me who are new viewers of this channel. So they said, what is FPUC retro? FPUC is an add-on to unemployment that goes month to month, and it did not exist under the Trump administration from July to December because of wranglings from Nancy Pelosi and her refusal to accept smaller offers. She demanded $600 a week. They were offering her $400. She rejected it and ultimately went with $300. So she never accepted FPUC retro from July to December of last year. There's a push to still pay that. SSI reform, which, to which a, viewers, a lot of viewers have asked questions about this. This has a lot of interesting twists, which you're hearing for the first time tonight. 
SSI reform. Well, the president under third stimulus is proposed, excuse me, fourth stimulus, is proposing to do a lot of money for seniors and a lot of reform for seniors. Is this reform the money that we're hoping for? First of all, changing benefits to be tied to CPIE, not COLA, so that your yearly benefits are increased upon a new benchmark, CPIE, not COLA. This could be a reform under four stimulus, and it would follow with complete democratic support. No one would oppose something like that. Second, the increase, lifetime benefit increase up to, <laughs> I got to keep on saying that, up to 20%, that still could slide into for stimulus. Now, when we talk about the $2,400, you don't want to necessarily wrangle about that because the push for multiple stimulus checks is the huge money. That huge money for those multiple stimulus checks is where the push needs to be. Hashtag purple power, hashtag MSC. Let's look at those numbers. For stimulus from July to December, six checks of it, $2,000 a check, $12,000. If it's $1,400, it's $8,400. What does this graphic re represent? The Democrats who are in the Senate, 21 of 50, want to give you multiple sim stimulus checks. And what they will do is that as soon as the bill lands in the Senate, they're going to amend it during an event, event called the Votorama. <laughs> Remember the Votorama? It was not that B-52 song. It did go to the disco charts in the UK for a week. Uh, you know, uh, I, I think the B-50, yeah. Anyway, uh, the, <laughs> it's not that. It's not when Mitch was trying to sing karaoke at the Lobster Fest either. Uh, no, <laughs> The Votorama is those two days in the Senate in which a reconciliation bill comes in, and you can literally introduce any amendment you want to do. I want to enter, enter an amendment that everyone has to wear a purple shirt when L, uh, ever L lights on camera. Yeah, I don't think they'll get a vote, but they could introduce any amendment they want. Well, guess what? 21 of 50 Democrats want to introduce an amendment when the bill lands in the Senate, if the president doesn't do it himself, to do reoccurring monthly stimulus checks. How much? Well, these are the items they've certainly said. One that it would be monthly. Two, the income qualifications would be the same. So if you make less than $75,000, check. If you're, in, if you're a child, check. If you're an adult dependent, check. Everything would be the same under the third stimulus check, which you just got today. So everyone would get a check. F family of four, that's the household. So a household of four where the married couple makes 150 or less, yes, check, check, check. Four checks per month for six months or as quickly as they got this bill out the door. The only thing they don't tell us is the amount of the monthly check. But insiders say $1,400 to $2,000 is the likely amount. So let's go back to that graphic. This is incredible sums of money. And this is where the Purple Power needs to push. Remember, Purple Power has an incredible push in power. And you need to get behind this with the hashtag MSC and hashtag Purple Power. Let's look at what is at play here. Here is the graphic. If the bill got to law in June and the checks went out in July, well, there you go. If it's $2,000 just for an individual, $12,000 over six months. But these are just monthly checks. Imagine if it was a family of four and it was $2,000 an individual, then that family of four would get $8,000 a month. Do I think this is a reality? Absolutely, it's a reality. Do I think this is a reality? No, this is what the president wants to do. Look how much bigger this is. He wants to spend $65,000 a child for 18 years. He has told insiders that he wants to extend the $300 a month child tax credit, which gives $300 a child from newborn to age five as $300 a month, and then $250 a month after that to age 17. That's $65,000. Is that going to happen? No. But $65,000, look at that compared to this number, which is only $8,000 and of the way we go. Now, here's what you also need to know is that there is incredible growth across the board. And today, Jamie Dimon, who is head of J.P. Morgan, had this incredible statement to say when asked whether he thinks that forced stimulus is good or bad or whether he thinks that this economy is going to go bust or up. He said that the valuations of the tech shares across the board are on the high end, but he thinks that there's going to be a big economic boom and will continue to 2023. Diamond said today, I have little doubt that with excess savings, new stimulus savings, there we go, huge deficit spending and more Q&E, new potential infrastructure bill, and successful vaccine and euphoria around the world of the pandemic, the U.S. economy will likely boom. 
And this was a sentence that followed that everyone talked about. This boom could easily run into 2023 because of all the spending could be extended into well into 2023. And that was shown today with the FANG stocks. The FANG stocks continue to rally across the board today. All these major FANG stocks see are where Diamond is really implying to and also looking at when determining the issue of how much stimulus we're at, at play. These are the FANG stocks currently. Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google. And those are all trading robustly today on the hope that stimulus is out the door. Is Diamond correct? And what about the President of the United States? Well, the President of the United States appeared before the American people yesterday and talked not once but three times. Uh, one of the messages he delivered was the importance to get vaccinated. And ultimately, vaccination is what pushes the jobs numbers. If the job numbers are strong and continue to be strong, this is what's at issue here. Viewers always ask me, are you worried about the multiple stimulus checks? No, I'm worried that they get the bill to the Senate too late. The job numbers for Friday show that there were 1 million jobs created in the month of March in this country. There's 8 million jobs missing. Well, guess what happens if the analysts are correct? The analysts are now saying that there may be 2 million jobs restored this month. If that's true, then we could be back to normality in four months. I mean, Just remember, yesterday, Gavin Newsom, governor of California, said the entire state of California is back to business and reopened in June with no more restrictions. That's why you want this bill in the Senate as fast as possible. Let's listen to what the president had to say like yesterday when addressing people. I was people. criticized for doing that, as you recall. But you're the ones who reach out. Yeah. You're the one that knows everybody who is just technology. I think of my mom. Yeah. And my mom, who's passed away, but my mom was a very bright woman, and she was a wonderful lady. I was one of those guys that I won the gene lottery. Everybody wished my mom had been their mom. Yeah. Not a joke. <laughs> and, uh, but my mom, her ability to use uh, a computer or to use a telephone and to, to sign up, yeah. she would have been lost. Yeah, absolutely. She would have been lost. And like all of you, a very bright person, but a lot of people just don't have that facility. They just aren't, 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 know how to do that. And so what do they do? They keep putting off and putting off and putting off. But you know where people live. Yeah. You go to them. Yeah. That's why we've also set up around the nation um, mobile clinics as well. Mm -hmm. Tell them about what we're doing now in the mobile clinics. Yeah, there's almost a thousand mobile clinics now, and you're yeah. deploying mobile clinics and pop-up yeah. clinics yeah, to meet yeah. people where they are. That's right. Yeah. Churches and community centers. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. No, our patients are walking, walking to their vaccine from their neighborhood. Yep. Yeah. And you know, one of the things we've done, we also started off, and again, we got criticized initially for some, but. We opened it up to, we initially didn't have it. You know, you used to go get your flu shot. You'd go to the local drugstore, local pharmacy. Well, we went, we did that. We're now up to, well, how many pharmacies? We're 40. in the 20,000s, more than 20,000. You're gonna be at 40,000 by April 19th. So, so. For, and almost everybody's in the And the pharmacies has been the success for the president of getting the vaccine out. Yesterday, his uh, press secretary spoke about for stimulus and what his team has been doing on the bill. Let's listen into that reporting. No bunny today, I promise. Chicks, Chicks maybe, <laughs> candy. Uh, a couple of updates for all of you uh, at the top. Uh, we provided a bit of an update on what the jobs cabinet uh, has been up to since the president announced the American Jobs Plan last week. So just wanted to provide you a little bit more of an update. As we noted yesterday, they've been hard at work throughout the congressional recess, making calls to Democratic chairs and Republican ranking members of the relevant committees and to appropriators. They've led briefings for major House and Senate caucuses. Uh, the uh, Secretary Buttigieg will meet with the moderate New, Dem New Democrats caucus this week. Uh, the Office of Public Engagement will lead calls throughout this week with private sector, rural and agricultural stakeholders, climate groups, local chambers of commerce, faith leaders, minority leaders, community college groups, and more. And the Office of Legislative Affairs is coordinating about 30 briefings for majority and minority committee staff of committees with jurisdiction over the American Jobs Plan. These efforts will continue, of course, when members return to Washington. And as I noted yesterday, the President looks forward to welcoming members to the White House. And as we have that locked in, we'll provide more details to all of you. 
Uh, today, uh, Vice President Harris joined the COVID response. And there you go. The message loud and clear is that the president is now sending his staffers that are working on the fourth stimulus package bill to meet with officials and talk to them about getting things done. What's important for you to understand is the sort of the time frame that we're involved here. Let me look, show you the time frame at issue about your money, because ultimately my job is to ensure that you remain focused on getting the big amount of money you can get across the board, becoming financially stable. Whether you're a small business owner or you're employed or unemployed or whether you're senior, you're my viewer and I'm focused on helping all of you. Here's what we look at at the numbers. Well, April, third stimulus money will go live this month and this is the money you need to get. I'll be going over what that is in a second. In May, more of the third stimulus money will go live. These are the different programs of the third stimulus package. You wanna get that money because it's first come first serve. You would hope that by June, the bill of forced stimulus is coined for a vote and that by July, the forced stimulus money goes out. So hence, you see a lag time between third stimulus money and forced stimulus money. August, more forced stimulus money could come. And then in September, a lot of third stimulus items expire. What's important to understand is that third stimulus items will be expiring, and I don't want you to let that money expire without getting it. Let's look at some of the items that are in third stimulus right now and understand where things are going and why you shouldn't let the money expire. Here's what you need to know. The $1,400 third stimulus check landed today. Congratulations, you got the $1,400 stimulus check, but it's going to get spent and it's going to get used up and then you're going to need more money. What's the next sum of money that's available for you? Rent, utilities, food. Now, food doesn't get used up because it's Department of Agriculture. It's SNAP. Reach out to Department of Agriculture. Call 211. It is usually, for a family of four in Hawaii, $1,400 a month, but now it's increased 15% per month to December. Get that money right now. And it's incredible benefits. If you make less than $75,000 a year approximately, this is your money. It's up to $16,000 now for a family of four in Hawaii. But the items that would run out is rent and utilities. Also, mortgage assistance or property owner assistance. Where is this money going to be? And how do you determine and what do you need to know about it? First, there are federal guidelines established for it in the third stimulus package, but the money is being sent to three locations, your state housing authority, your state hall, your city housing authority, your city hall, and your county housing authority and county hall. Basically, the state, county, and city levels. What you need to know is that every city, county, and state across the country, I can't monitor for you. It's too many places. And they have the right and they have the will, certainly, to do different standards about who gets the money. So ultimately, while I'll tell you what the federal standard is, they can do it stronger. The federal standard does not require you to be behind on rent. The state may require that as well. Mortgage assistance, private, assist, private mortgage holders, like if your mortgage is with Chase, or public, like if it's with... Uh, it's Fannie Mae or Freddie Mae. There's mortgage assistance as well. Also property owner assistance, other things with your property like utility bills. And how broad will that include? Will include property taxes? I get that question all the time. That's ultimately determined by your city, county, and state. Reach out to that because that's money available right now. Now, one thing is in a second, you're going to see a little bit about the community page. The community volunteers can help you get that money for your city, state, and county because it may not be an easy task finding it. Then, the $1,700 of financial aid, that is now available from your financial aid advisor at college. Reach out to them. The next big item is updating the IRS about a couple things for you, whether it's the child or whether it's your unemployment $10,200 refund. There's a lot of things happening for that round. Remember, the first $10,200 is tax-free for your unemployment. IRS two days ago said that if you filed your 2020 tax return and did pay taxes on it, they're sending you an, a, an automatic refund, but you can still do an amended return to request the money back. Next, also, if you, uh, have, not, if you have not filed your tax return, but did have unemployment income, it did have taxes taken out for unemployment income on the federal level every week when you got unemployment, you need to wait for that advisory from IRS because that needs to be fixed than that child that IRS may not know about. Yes, you'll need to do some type of document with IRS about that. We don't know what that is either. That's why you have to stay with me. That's that $3,600 that starts in the month of July, $300 a month or three or two fifty dollars a month if the child is six to seven, six to 17. That's a lot of money. 
the, er the child care tax credit, the earned income tax credit, all these other items, and of course, the EIDL or SBA items. The shuttered venue grant, which is not just for venues, the EIDL grant, which is nearly for everyone, the PPP grant, all these things are either now live or about to go live. You need to stay with me because, boy, this is the big money of third stimulus. It's five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. And with the exception of the SBA stuff, if you make less than $45,000, this all's for you. And then I want you to get that money because then there's going to be a little bit of delay until we get to force stimulus. But what can you, who and where can you get that assistance in finding this money? Here's a little bit about the community page and the volunteers that can help you find that money if you need help with rent, utilities, and food and more. I'll be back in 60 seconds for it from here. Yeah. Uh, if I get this right, I will be. <laughs> I will be back in 60 seconds from now. Uh, but first, here's a little bit about the community page. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on Evenings LA Late as we go further into forced stimulus and those multiple stimulus checks. The excitement's unfolding across the board, and boy, Purple Power, do your thing. Hashtag MSC, hashtag Purple Power. Take this video and share it on social media. And also say hi. I'm in the live chat. Hi, how are you? Say hi. I'd love to see you. <laughs> Going to the casino? Uh, if you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I don't want you to miss a single video across the board. And it's birthday month on the channel. Let's see if we can get to 400,000 subscribers. Let's do it. We're only, what, 6,000 away? L subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Because, wow, I mean, look at what we did as a family. You thought it wasn't going to come. You didn't know if it was going to come. You got no alert. The bank didn't tell you anything. And then it came. That $1,400 third stimulus check came. It absolutely came. Direct Express wasn't telling you anything. They had a, a, a voicemail that didn't make any sense. They had a posting on the website that didn't make any sense. No one was there for you except me and you and this family. Let's remember that very clearly. Let's look back on the last few weeks that after the bill was passed, the whole rest of the universe ran for the hills, and no one was here to help you ensure that you got this money. It's very easy to read a news article and say, you're getting a stimulus check, and then have millions of viewers worried, wait a second, I don't show a penny to IRS, I don't show a penny to Direct Express by Comerica, I don't show a penny to Chase, am I getting it? And then the person's off telling you about something else, like, you know, how to go till your garden or something, <laughs> How to make $12 ice cream. It's like, wait a second. We got to go all the way through until we get the check. And congratulations to those who got the check. Uh, it, so make sure you subscribe. Also like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member because, boy, uh, this is the channel that you want to have all the documentation to ensure you know how to get the stimulus item by item. There's a lot of other items that are coming before for stimulus, and I got to always remind myself to tell you them. Within about a week and a half now, very close, about 10 days away from now, we're going to learn about that mortgage, excuse me, that student loan debt forgiveness. The president dispatched his education secretary to make an executive uh, memo about the legal uh, 
implications if the president can, by executive order, forgive $50,000 student loan debt. Elizabeth Warren says the president can. Elizabeth Warren said Trump did. She said that Obama did it. If that's true, the president could be forgiving your student loan debt in less than 10 days from now. So that's where you want to stay here. Um, there is a lot of big other exciting great stuff. And that big exciting stuff is that um, ultimately, I'm staying with here with you to ensure that if you're missing a stimulus check, wait to see if that check is still coming. Check the mail daily and then wait for request of guidance from Treasury, from IRS. They may give you guidance in the next few days as to how to request that missing stimulus check. Remember, the first and second stimulus check you will request by a tax return. But yesterday, the President of the United States spoke about also about where we're going forward. And let's listen in on his message late yesterday clinic in Virginia at the Virginia Theological Seminary in Alexandria, Virginia. The seminary and other houses of worship in the area are partnering with the community health centers uh, to offer vaccination and vaccination sites. They're seeing these kinds of partnerships. We're and not just there, but we're seeing them all over the country. People are coming together across the different faiths to serve those most in need with special focus on vaccinating seniors from all races, backgrounds, and walks of life. It's an example of America at its finest. And they're all meeting what Pope Francis calls the moral obligation. Get vaccinated, something which can, he went on to say, can save your life and the lives of others. And I was at the seminary clinic uh, to mark an important milestone as well. Yesterday, we crossed 150 million shots in 75 days, the first 75 days of my administration. Later in the present, later in the video, the president announces that all Americans of adult age can get vaccinated starting April 19th, which was lower than the previous, earlier than the previous date, which was May 1st. Some states like California had already reduced it that early as well. What's important for you for purposes of stimulus is that the more vaccinations, the quicker the economy rebound, the faster you want the stimulus bill in the Senate. Let's listen into more what he says later in the video. And today, in advance of that new national full eligibility day, I want to make a direct appeal to our seniors and everyone who cares about them. While we have made incredible progress vaccinating three quarters of our seniors and putting vaccination sites within five miles of 90 percent of the public, it still isn't enough. It's simple. Seniors, it's time for you to get vaccinated now. Get vaccinated now. To make it easier, my administration is sending aid to community groups to drive seniors to vaccination sites. Meantime, the president also in his third, fourth stimulus package proposes relief for seniors. We are yet to see if that relief for seniors is exactly what we have on our checklist. If we go back to our checklist or to-do list, SSI reform, is that the type of SSI reform that we need? What's important for you to understand is if you listen to that video earlier from the press secretary, she said that today and this week, the Treasury Secretary, the Transportation Secretary and others are going to speak with different groups to hear what they want to hear in the fourth stimulus package. Well, if you want to push for something in the fourth stimulus package, get your message loud and clear out. This is the week in which they're asking, I want the input from you about what you want in the fourth stimulus package. And you know how to get that message out. Take this video, take all the videos of this channel, and share them on social media. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, hashtag MSC, hashtag Purple Power. Tag the elected officials, call them up, call up your senator, call up your representative. Ultimately, Democrats want this to be done. So certainly, a Republican will not be on board for the subject matter, it's just the way it is. But call them up and say, we need these things in there. Whatever is the push that you believe needs to be done, in addition to multiple stimulus checks, make the message loud and clear. Remember, those Democrats want to give you multiple stimulus checks, so get behind them. Keep them on point. We have a few weeks to go until this bill gets to the Senate. You don't want to let them lose focus, and you don't want to them to leave message, lose message. But across the land, as we go into a big night of big, exciting news, I'm so excited for you because finally Americans have gotten a stimulus check. The leap of faith, the questioning of whether it would ever come, has been absolutely fulfilled. That stimulus check landed today as millions of Americans had wondered and hoped that it would finally land. And ultimately, you should never lose hope. 
you should never lose faith. You should always stay positive because that's the spirit of the Purple Power. Last night, this channel brought back Purple Power in its original format, and I really appreciate the viewers who tuned into that. It was a special broadcast that talked about how positivity and focusing on you, not focusing on others, is what gets you the big money in the final land. Ultimately, remember, Purple Power means a lot of things to a lot of people, but ultimately, it's about making you financially stable. Now that you got that check, no more tracking of checks on this channel. We're not going to track another check on the channel. We're cashing checks. This is the year in which you want to be financially stable. If you're a small business owner, welcome home. We're going over EIDL, reconciliation grants. If you're an employed person who is unemployed before but didn't get the right amount of unemployment and needs to do Escalate benefits, welcome home. And if you're a person who is retired that, doesn't, uh, that just wants a better type of life and wants to knowledge and information, thank you for joining me and welcome home. It's a big night. And thank you for joining me on Evenings Out Light. I'll see you next on Hazard Pay and perhaps with another return of Purple Power, which you loved last night. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video and consider becoming a member. The link's at the top of the chat in the pinned comment. Stay informed, stay focused, stay smiling, and stay with LA for more.